Hi guys, I've teamed up with Kerrygold to bring you a brilliant Back to Basics series filled with what I consider to be those essential home cooking recipes. From some buttery sweet treats, to epic bakes, and some serious comfort food. I've got you covered. Let's get cooking. Rough Puff Pastry is an absolutely brilliant recipe to have as part of your collection. It has the rich, crumbly flakiness you get from puff pastry, but also that butteriness that you get from short crust pastry. I'm going to use it for a savoury dish, a chicken pot pie, but you can also make it for desserts and really lovely sweet treats. So to start off, I have some plain flour in a bowl, and to that I'm going to add some really cold Kerrygold butter. I'm using a pastry blender to mix this up. If you don't have one of these, you can use two knives and just go at it until you have those nice crumbly bits of butter. So get in there and just press that butter into the flour. And now we're gonna talk about the wet ingredients. So to a bowl, I'm gonna crack one egg in here. So one large free range egg. Give that a good beating, just to make sure that it's nicely combined. And to that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. It adds that savory flavor here. Give it a good seasoning with some black pepper, a pinch of sea salt, give it all a good mix up, and then a tiny tablespoon of ice cold water. Now, the trick is to only add a tiny bit of this to start with, just pour it straight into the center. And then using two forks, we're not getting our hands in there at all, we're gonna toss this in that liquid. You're looking for it to start clumping together, and at this point it's looking pretty good. So just press it together with your hands very, very lightly, and then turn it out onto the surface. Press it together, and you really don't want to work this too much, just until that dough comes together. Wrap it up in cling film and get it into the fridge. I do have one which has completely rested and it's firmed up. It's now going to be ready to be rolled out on top of this chicken pot pie. And for this chicken pot pie, we need that creamy, delicious chicken filling. So, in a pot, I've softened down some onions. Going to season it up with a tiny pinch of sea salt, black pepper. With this onion mixture, essentially we're going to make a white sauce. So to the onions, add in some Kerrygold butter. We're going to melt that down. And we're going to make up this beautiful, thick white sauce. On top of your bubbling butter, get in there with some flour. And now to loosen this out, I'm going to add a tiny touch of chicken stock, slowly but surely, until we have a nice thick sauce. A generous amount of cream goes in here. We're going to flavour it up with a nice peppery hit from some English mustard. About a teaspoon, a generous teaspoon, is going to go in there really nicely. I've got bubbling thick white sauce now, so I'm going to turn down the heat. And to this, I'm going to add some steamed broccoli, just steamed until it's nice and tender. And then I have some leftover cooked chicken, and this all goes straight in there as well. So give it all a good mix through so it's nicely combined. Get this straight into a pie dish. Now, I have just one of these, but any baking dish will do. So just transfer all that mixture straight out into it. This is going to be a serious chicken pot pie. I have the pastry that has rested. It's still quite cold. Unwrap that from the cling film. Sprinkle it now with a tiny touch of flour, and you just want a nice, even dusting over both sides. And then just press this out. We're going for about half a centimeter to a centimeter in thickness here. So just brush the edges of your pie dish, and this will make sure that your pastry sticks to the tin. Okay, looking pretty good. So, carefully lift that pastry straight across. And you want to start pressing this down just ever so slightly into the edges, just so that it sits flush to the filling. And now, using a knife, we're just going to cut off the edges. You don't have to be too perfect about this. I quite like the fact that it kind of looks a bit rustic and homemade. To decorate this, just press with your two fingers and your thumb so that you get a nice fluted edge. That looks so good. So, to finish it off, just pierce a hole in the top, and this will make sure that if any of that liquid starts to expand, it has a place to go. So, just a few little pokes around the side. This now needs to get a little bit of an egg wash. It's going to cook off for 25 minutes. You're looking for that top to go crisp and golden and absolutely delicious. This is a chicken pot pie. The smell is so good. I'm getting that waft of buttery pastry. So, I'm gonna have to try some. So, grab a spoon. I feel like I shouldn't break into it because it looks so beautiful, but I'm gonna. So, crack in 
just around the sides. Take out a nice, generous spoonful. That is what I'm talking about. Steaming, crumbly, creamy, all those things. Oh. You know what? That is my ultimate comfort food dish. Crumbly pastry, flaky and buttery. That rich white sauce wrapped around that steamed broccoli and that really tasty chicken. This is an ultimate comfort food dish, one you have to try at home. If you want the recipe, you can check it out in the box below. Make sure to like this recipe, share it with your friends, comment beneath letting me know if you're gonna try this. And of course, I will see you soon. Goodbye. You just finely slice your onions and, holy Mary. <laughs>